Here we go. Exploring theology, doctrine, and all of the fascinating subjects in between, broadcasting from an undisclosed location, Dead Men Walking starts now. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Dead Men Walking Podcast. Thanks for coming along on the ride. Appreciate you following us on social media, Devin Walking Podcast, and check us out at dmwpodcast.com. Uh, you know, and we've also been thinking, what can we call the listeners? You know, deadheads are already taken. Jerry Garcia took that from us, so we can't go there. So if you got any ideas of what we're going to call the listening audience, we're taking those over the next few weeks. And uh, if we pick your suggestion, something special is going to be shipped out to you. But enough of the shameless self-promotion. Let's get right into the episode today because we have some returning guys that I absolutely love. I can't stress it enough. And I have uh, on the podcast before that they're the one of the reasons I do something like this each week on Dead Men Walking Podcast. I've been huge fans of theirs for quite a long while. Listen to their podcasts, their ministries, read their books, uh, follow what they're doing on social media. Uh, that is uh, Sumter Knox and Wrench from Cross Politic. How you guys doing, brothers? Good man. Thanks Good to be for, here. Thanks for having us. I remember when you first started. Yeah, I love that intro. This is a great intro. <laughs> yeah, you just got me fired up already. But man, you. You've uh, just right. you got a great voice for this, and just seeing you grow over the years has been awesome, man. And his pace, well, I... his pace, <laughs> dude. Your pace is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, this. hey, hey, whoa. hey! This. I got, I, I'm a salesman, and I got ADHD, so you know what I mean. Talk oh. fast, and let's get to the content, baby. And you guys oh. always bring it. Um, you know, and, and you guys on Cross Politic. If you guys are listening to this podcast right now, I'm sure you have heard of Cross Politic. If you haven't, pause this right now. Go uh, follow, subscribe, get on Fight Laugh Feast. Throw them a couple bucks uh, every month as well, too, because that's the only way we build things is by supporting our brothers in the Lord like this. Uh, and go check them out. There you go. So, um, but but we don't want to just sit here and say how much we love each other because uh, we can do that at the conference next month. That's what we want to talk about. Boom. I want to talk about Fight Laugh Feast Conference. Uh, I believe uh, 11th through 14th, if I'm if I'm correct, am I saying the right dates there? I think yes. I'm coming down on the 11th. Okay. Uh, politics of six days of creation. You guys always have uh, great subjects, a lot of good speakers. Can we just dive right into it and give, first of all, there's still tickets available. If anyone's listening, they want to travel down to Kentucky or up or over to Kentucky, uh, give them, you know, is, is there tickets available? And then give us a little overview of what we're going to be uh, talking about for those three, four days. Yeah, there's still tickets ba- available. People can go to uh, for to sign up. This year, the topic of the conference this year is politics of six-day creation. Uh, and also, bef- before at, you can- at the Ark Encounter, at the Ark Encounter, that's, the Ark Encounter, yeah, not just anywhere in Kentucky. I mean, it, it's get it right at, at the life size Ark, Ark, yeah. And we actually also do a pre business conference as part of it. You'll see mm. the schedule pre business makers, we call it business makers conference, and that is uh, all the schedule. And you can sign up separately for that, it's real cheap. And, and there's a there's a number of things we're doing in between all this. There's after parties, there's that where Greg buys first rounds of beers oh and drinks. really are you doing that this year i think i think he said yeah he, are you, uh, yeah let's I, don't do I don't want to put you on the spot but i he's think we not. talked i think he no. said, yeah he's gonna buy first round, round again <laughs> look at i love the look on people's faces when two three four hundred guys show up to a bar take it over start singing psalms smoking cigars they have their craft beer and people who are just there for a dinner go what is going on we've had lots of conversations with non-believers and they go where are you from what are you doing why are you singing it's actually a great witnessing yeah. opportunity because you're in a public space and you go look at this is who we are and this is what we do we're glorifying God, even at this after party. So uh, proud to sponsor it and looking forward to it. Um, and I just heard that you got Bonson for the, uh, for, for the business, for the pre-business show. Is that correct? Yeah. David Bonson's coming in. He's speaking at uh, three o'clock on the business makers conference. And then we're doing a panel with all the speakers, all the business who are, speakers. Who are the other Kobe. speakers for business makers? You have Camden Spiller and then you have He's uh, the CEO Heather, of Maddox C- Industries. Yep. Camden Spiller, CEO of Maddox Industries. And then you have Heather, the CEO of Gibson Go and her, Is her brother, brother coming. Okay. Good. Uh, coming yeah. in. They're both their spouses are actually coming. Nice. Uh, and everything. And then uh, David Bonson at 3 p.m. and then a panel at 4 p.m. So with us, the way we do our with, with us, us the way I want to have a personal conversation with yes. those people. I know. I know. <laughs> that's why I'm that's, why I'm, that's I'm, actually I, the only reason I'm there. And here's what's crazy. I'm in, these I'm in it for these that. companies are awesome. I mean, yes. Gibson Go was called before Canadian par- Parliament for funding mm. the trucker convoy. Yes. yes. Like yep. these people are <laughs> and real. They killed it. Yeah. And they killed yeah. it. And they killed yeah. it. But Canada p- Parliament and our country, America, didn't help them. Yeah. Wow. Right. Unbelievable. Can, 
I'm going to ask kind of a how the sausage is made and, and answer it however you want, but I am always astounded over the last four years of really kind of how I've been connected with you guys. You find speakers, uh, theologians, scholars, political activists that are kind of, they're, they're up and coming. They have a little following, but it's like you guys get them right. And then once they connect with you, it's like they explode. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, you know, and Whitlock in his own right had stuff going on. He's oh, being yeah. ESPN, but it's like some of these guys that you get Bonson is like everywhere now. And it's like, you guys get a hold of them six months to a year before they just became nationwide names. I mean, who's, who's on your, who's scouting your talent over there because they're doing a phenomenal job. <laughs> oh, it's real easy. I know the secret of this. This is real simple. So <laughs> let's just, let's just give an example. Somebody like pastor Doug Wilson, who's been doing this for what? 40 years at least. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Well, all you have to do is go to the trash bin of evangelicalism, look over the edge, <laughs> yeah, and then, they just, and then just over? grab everything that's in there, and yeah, you'll find all yeah. these guys. <laughs> that's I mean, yeah, I'm go look what you threw joking. away. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not yeah. even yeah. joking. That's true. I mean, that's the true. last time that Pastor Wilson was on this the circuit for speaking conferences, speaking at conferences, like well, was, like what 2000? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was well, that was the earlier one, and then you had uh, John Piper. Yeah, he was right. at the, the right. that's the last time that he was desiring God conference. That was yeah. it. Yeah, and after that, he just fell off. And I'm trying to figure out why. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I mean, literally. I mean, he, it just it blows my mind that he's not invited to a conferences, particularly ones that are dealing with worship, that deal with education, that dealing with God's sovereignty. I mean, he's got he's got forty over forty books he's written or something like this. Probably got more. forty more. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, mean, I stopped that. counting that after low. that. that was low. But it just it just I mean I just don't get it. And yeah. so it's, for us, I think the first thing way we started with this was like you know. Why, why don't we then make sure that everything we do, <laughs> Pastor Wilson, it? Yeah, he, I mean, he, yeah, right. whenever, we, whenever we schedule well, a conference, yeah. we, we we put Pastor Doug in, he gets two talks. That's right. If, as, long, as long as he's willing and able to do it, yeah. he's automatically got an invite to do two talks. Yeah. And, the, and then we form everything else around him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, mean, right. Seriously. And, and you know what? The thing with David Bonson, I, I just... One of the things that's really amazing to me is that Christians do a poor job of thinking about business. Mm. They do a poor yeah. job of thinking about engaging in the, the practical realities of the world. And David Bonson is one of those guys who has a lot of wisdom. And, and he the way that he communicates with his people who are his enemies or people who he doesn't agree with has been class act. And, yes, true. And, and you know what? And, true. And, and I've been so impressed with um, somebody who has his academic level – and, and I'm just saying this about myself because I'm around guys who are very intelligent, but is able to pander the people like me. Like, how do yeah. I get this? And he's willing to do that. And I think I think Pastor Toby labeled it so right the first time we really interviewed him. He said he's kind of like a, a Daniel or, a, a you know, or like God puts him or a Joseph, you know, yeah. he's, he's, in, in Pharaoh's court, in, in Nebuchadnezzar's court. <laughs> yes. And, and, yeah. and but but he's yeah. you know, really. Um, and now he's making his own court. Right. So that's for true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And so, and, and there's just guys like that. And we, you know, one of the blessings about being around here is we get uh, to be around a lot of people that people don't know or haven't heard of or are coming because we have NSA, we have Logos, we have so many beautiful things that are sprouting in, in, in Moscow that a lot of people don't know about. But these people have been working for years and nobody has yeah. um, really platformed them, yeah. I guess, in the yeah. beginning. And, and since God has somehow given us this opportunity, we're like, well, Look, if if people got all the big speakers at their conferences, that's great. We we don't have the money to even afford those guys. We're, we're like we, we, we like <laughs> yeah. to think of ourselves as kind of like Sherwood Forest. That's right. That's right. It's, 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 or the King like would do them. You know, I don't I don't know if you guys follow football, but I'm gonna call you guys my Detroit Lions of this year. We're take we, you guys find the talent, you turn them into dogs, and then you set them out on the field uh, for the glory of the Lord. So uh, that's awesome. I absolutely that, I don't know how. That's awesome. <laughs> Because Detroit, man, they're no, they're looking good no, this year. Knox is from Minneapolis, yeah. and you just offended him deeply. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm with America's team, but I get the analogy, and I'll I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Well, look, I'm glad you're giving uh, credit to to those speakers, but I just wanted to for the listeners too. You guys have done a phenomenal job in building what you're building out there, and I love it when I see people go, "Yeah, I'm done with Shapiro. I'm I'm on cross politic now. Sorry, yeah. I'm done with uh, you know Walsh. I'm on cross but They're the only ones speaking absolute godly truth. You could be conservative you can be these different things and say you're pro-life and i'm doing air quotes because even our pro-life conservatives have a real issue with uh, yep. abolition and things like that 
and it's like, yeah. that's, that's why you guys are growing, I think, and, and why people are attracted to truth. And I've said it a million times. So I, I really appreciate you standing firm on that. So getting back to the conference tickets still yes. available, October 11th through 14th, the, um, the politics of six days of creation. I've said this before, but anyone listening, it is unlike any other conference you're going to go to. Okay. I've been mm. to the national G three conference. I've been to smaller conferences with James white and some of my reformed Baptist friends. And I've been here and there, and I know Joel Webbins doing some stuff, which Joel yes. was a guy that came on early with you guys and you guys kind of helped each other out there. Now he, he has a platform to speak and it's huge, but it's different. Fight laugh feast is different. The, the, the Psalm singing, the, the, uh, the, the, the speaking, the subjects that we're talking about, you're not getting this in a suit and tie at some stuffy, uh, conference where you're sitting there for nine hours a day and you're going, I can't take any more notes. Um, it is like, you're just getting bombarded with truth and it's a fun, interactive way. Um, it's obviously very deep and theological, but it's also godly and fun. Um, tell me, uh, what this, uh, what this conference is going to be more of the same, I'm sure. But how are we getting into the politics of the six days of creation? On, what are man. we thinking there? No, you tell us. You're just doing such a great job of promoting. <laughs> you tell what's going to be so good about this year. <laughs> uh, hey, look, I'm bringing down some guys that have never experienced you guys or or, or, or anything like this. So uh, my wow. my joy is when I bring brothers down like that and they wow. go, what? You can do this. You can talk like this. You can have a camaraderie before mm. in between, you know, with my reformed brothers and sisters and it's, it's family. It's, it's sound theological, uh, doctrine. It's all these things. And then on top of that, uh, I'm making business connections. I've sold yeah. houses for people I've met there. <laughs> I've got a guy doing my marketing that was in your podcast booth. I'm buying no coffee way. from people that show up there. Like this is what it's about. And anyone listening awesome. that goes, where should I spend my hard earned money? There's 500 conferences a year. This one goes at the top of my list easily. Mm. Uh, uh, I know G3 is happening in a few weeks. I went, no, I, I'm, I'm good on that one for now. And I'm not saying anything against them. I think they're two different types of conferences, but um, this one's a priority for me just because mm. of those things. So I always look forward to the subject matter too, because I think it, last year was politics of sex, which was just mm. uh, what I needed, what everyone needed there, uh, yeah. those talks. So yeah. what are we going to get into on, on creation? Can, is there anything we can uh, argue about or differ about? Oh, or yes. Why is there politics in creation? Yeah. What does well, it even mean? The reason why we started off, uh, when, the reason why we came up with politics of, of six day creation, similar to like what we do with all our topics, is we think, man, we need to we need to talk about this. Yeah. yeah. And then it's funny watching over the year how actually the topic builds up and it becomes more and more re relevant over the year. Yeah. yeah. And God's kind in that way. Um, but the reason why we chose politics of six day creation is because we are living in a in a world that is collapsing. Um, from the evolutionary framework being taught and distilled and instilled in our um, Dar culture for generations. Darwin is the mind virus that's killing us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there's and so no mask for that. And so what we have is, <laughs> yeah. And so what we it have is like this, yeah. this Mr. Potato like science going on. Mm. And, yeah. and for a long time is, is destroying our minds. And now you're actually seeing our kids like physically get destroyed now. Right. Uh, you right. know, the, the Mr. Potato Head body parts are being interchanged. One kid can go from being a man and six months later, they they look like a woman and they've cut off, the, they've emasculated themselves and everything. And so I think this, the politics of six day creation is critical to humanizing mm. our children versus destroying our kids spiritually, mentally, and, and now physically. Well, fu and fundamentally, I think it goes back to the authority of God's word. Um, so, yeah. d d and, and I think that's what, where we started. So we started with questioning just the, it's the, it's the age old, um, demonic satanic question. Did God really say, um, and, mm. but, but, it, but it goes back even before, like, did God really say, don't eat the fruit? Did God really say, let there be light? Did God really yeah. distinguish the waters above from the waters below? And did God really separate the waters from the dry ground? Yeah. Did, did God really speak, oh. um, birds and fish did god really speak yeah. stars and the sun moon and stars? out of nothing out of nothing That's did right. god really That's say right. let let's make man in our own image male and female uh he created mm. them and did he really command them and bless them to be fruitful multiply fill the earth subdue the earth um did he really yes uh, yeah it, oh i'm sorry yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to and, catch and, that. but if 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 we go fuzzy there, if we go, uh, which is what the church did, and we need to lay this at the feet oh. of the church, the yes, Christian right. church, 
said about a hundred years ago. Biologos. And and, and no, hundred years ago, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. and I'm talking about Presbyterians. Like I'll yeah, be straight up yeah, honest. It was right. Presbyterians who started saying, um, it doesn't matter how God created the world. This is a metaphor for you know mm. God. There's this. There's it's a, a higher... it's a secondary issue. We don't need right. to worry about it. Kind of right. yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a symbolic and whatever and Symbol, but yeah. right alongside that but as soon as you you make creation symbolic and a and a metaphor and this sort of it's just, it just it represents how i feel about whatever then it's just, the same thing can be said about the rest of the bible and and in particular the gospel itself yes. if god didn't create the world in the six days then jesus didn't die and rise again on the third day um, yeah. it, it, there, and, and what you do is as soon as the more fuzzy you make that, then it's more fuzzy on what is the image of God? When does life begin? When, what is male? What is female? Mm -hmm. What is marriage? And then if you don't know what marriage is, you don't know what human society is. You don't know what justice is. You don't you, right. like, it's all gone blurry and fuzzy and ambiguous. And so I think every you can find everything in the first three chapters of Genesis. That's right. And, um, and it, it also goes back to the authority of God's word. And Pastor, I just want to piggyback on what, what you just said, because I think this, for me, this is the, the main reason. I've been really um, spending a lot of time restoring a biblical cosmology. And one of the ways that you mm. know that people, so people will actually say, well, yeah, you're right, but then they still operate in fear. We believe in the resurrection, even though, but they're still fearful. Right. They're still fearful about the world because they don't, they don't really believe the reality of, of Genesis. They don't right. believe that uh, the rollout of Genesis actually has implications on how the world actually functions. Right. Because of evolution, like Abe was talking about, our understanding uh, of the, the structures of the world are evolutionary built. So yeah. we believe in the resurrection. We believe mm. that God is saving people in the world, but we don't believe that the world functions in the way that God made it to flow, which, and this is what I mean by that. We actually believe, this is an evolutionary concept, that evil will win. Mm. We mm. believe that evil and, we, and insanity- we, we, we believe that the strongest will survive. Will survive. We believe that insanity is, is sustainable long-term. Right. But right. it's not. But yeah. it's not. And, so, and, the, and this, is my, this is what I'm trying to get at. This is why this event is so important. Because if we don't have a biblical cosmology, then we see stuff like the World Economic Forum, we see things like AI, and we see things like technology, and we become afraid. Right. Because we think that that's how it works, and we and we don't think that the world has right. a creation and a teleos, right? right. And so when, mm. when the Bible talks in Proverbs and says, the wicked will plot, but they will fall into their own right. hole, right. we don't believe that. Yeah. We get fearful and say, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? And, but instead, we should be thinking, how is God going to take over Klaus yeah. Schwab and make the collapse happen of how's, World Economic Forum. How is God going to use AI yeah. for to, his, to, fill, uh, to fill the earth with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea? Mm. Um, Come on, preach it. Or, or simply just, even just, even the, the, the power of the word. Yes, that, right. That, like, yeah. the, that, that, no, that, um, you know, what, what is the, the that line in, the, in Luther's hymn? One little word shall fell them. Our, pre, our, our Luther yeah. back there is so happy. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. hey. <laughs> there you go, bro. There you A go. mighty one, fortress. Right? A, one, little, <laughs> one little word. Like, That's Jesus right. Christ is that word. That's right. Um, crucified, buried, yeah. raised from the dead. But it's the word of that gospel. And it's like, we, yeah. we, have, we, have, we have the nukes. That's it. Yeah. We, we, so we have the nukes. Yeah. And so, so this is what I'm talking about. So there's not a whole lot of people talking about this issue like you guys are and doing a conference on this. Most people would go, why would we do a conference on an issue that, like you said, is symbolic? Because I'm going to tell you guys right now, cross-denominational talking to believers uh, they don't have an opinion on the creation. They're very wishy-washy on it. I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. symbolic. Maybe it's uh, every day represents a billion years and it's kind of evolutionary. Maybe it's literal six days. It doesn't really matter to my faith. When in fact, it sounds like what you guys are saying and what this conference is going to talk about Every single thing that we see that stands as anti-Christ right now, it probably relates back to the fact that you don't have a firm foundation on creation, his sovereignty, yep. who God yep. is, why he created, why he created man and woman. I mean, it makes perfect sense. So this, to me, this is exciting because we are in an area in a subject and you guys are attacking it from a certain unique way that literally I don't think anyone else nationally is doing in the Western church. Um, which makes me excited because I go, there is a truth in there that needs to be explored, needs to be preached, and needs to be told to believers because we, we have zombies walking around on some of these issues that they call themselves <laughs> believers. So, is it, so this is the kind of stuff we're going to expect when we're looking at uh, some of the uh, sessions at the conference, correct? We're going to be talking about these things. 
Yeah. yeah, this is and this is I gotta talk about my favorite session. As, as much cool. as I um Pastor Toby, you should take your earbuds out and close your ears. I don't want you to hear what I'm about to say. Um when we did our first conference during COVID, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't remember we we knew from everything that had happened from the beginning. Our conference happened in um 2020 in, in October, was it? We did it in 2020. Yeah. Love 2020 that one. October. And so we'd already started going through the COVID thing and the shutdowns. And so by the time we got to our conference, we knew the first thing that we needed to do was repent. Yep. Mm. Everybody had manifested that they did not know their Bibles. Yeah. Everybody had manifested in one way or another, they were afraid. Yeah. And yeah. so we knew the first thing we needed to do was repent. So Pastor Toby preached the opening uh talk he basically just preached yeah, a sermon on, on repentance yeah, and yeah. i remember like why are my eyes leaking yeah <laughs> and ever since then yeah. we've kind of made it like that's what we're going to start at on every conference yeah. mm -hmm. we're going yeah. to come before the lord because when we have idolatry in the land we have judgment we have judgment we need to repent of the idols that we have and yeah. so everything is going to start with repentance Cleaning your we have not taken god at his word when he's been the creator He's designed it, right? We've we've completely tried to argue even from, um, I, I, and I appreciate science. I like science, but we need to argue. God has said, God yeah. has said it. And that's yeah. that's enough. Yeah. And repent. And then you'll be able to believe, <laughs> right? Yeah. Then you can get understanding. We have, And so my favorite talk is probably going to be this one again, is every year has been the opening talk yeah. on repentance. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Toby has, has done a great job of, of, yeah. of getting us to understand our sin all the way down, right? Sometimes yeah. we get a generic sense of our sin, and we're so happy to repent of those generic things. But um, every year, I'm always surprised at how well and how convicting it is at that sermon to hear like, how much sin is down there <laughs> yeah. that I need to repent of. You know, mm. and so I'm I'm looking for that's what that's one of be my one of my favorite talks. That one, and I, I'm looking forward to Joe Rigney um yep, yep. as well. But I, I, without starting there, I don't think anything else matters. You know, if we don't so, get to, to repentance, so Gabe, I'm I'm on the website, I'm trying to find the list of speakers. That's right here. How do it, I find it? Right here. It's on the it's right uh -huh. where is yeah. it? It's right under yeah. the, the main thing. It's, it's, it's not showing up on my page. It just goes refresh and a good lineup that it is, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like I wanted to see what their all the talks are. Yeah. I can't find it. Just they're all there. They're listed there, titles and everything. There's there's only yeah, yeah there's all the, the shows the and the FLF days and... Network. Yeah. FLF Network.com. <laughs> Dot com. I, you go to events. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I, he is all the all pastor out of the three. Just wants, I can tell. Just wants, just wants my <laughs> oh, yeah. It wants me to put my name in and my email address and stuff. It doesn't does it are you in Chief for it? No. You you're, you're not you're not a member. I don't know what yeah. I don't know what Toby's problem is. But um Greg also the, the beautiful thing I, I like the reason why we chose the Ark Encounter and this subject is because um, it, for one we constantly want to push a family oriented conference. Yeah. We want parents there with their kids. Even like, and we pick hard topics. I mean, we picked politics of sex last year. We had so many parents emailing me saying, "Hey, is this appropriate for my kid?" Oh, and, oh, you know? oh we, I just and I was like, "No, no, no." I was like, "It's good. Bring your kids." Um, Nothing worse than what's in the Bible. <laughs> Right. <laughs> exactly. You know what? You got to talk about why it's political, though. Maybe oh, there Pastor Toby can. There it is. There he's, it is. He's, he's here now. Oh, uh, look. It doesn't uh, have all the talks. It doesn't have Michael Foster up there yet. Michael Foster. Oh coming, yeah. Yeah. Foster's, Foster's there too. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll put him, we'll put him you you got to talk about well, how, how how creation is political. Yeah. So I mean, six day creation. I mean, I, I mean, I just. I, I thought I already hit it, but basically, I think um, you did. But Knox I mean, doesn't think so. So go ahead. No, you didn't hit it. It wasn't good enough, Toby. Not for me. So so politics basically yeah. is you know is the study of organizing society um in obedience mm -hmm. to god for for the blessing of of people which means in order to do justice in the land mm -hmm. to have have a magistrates uh civil magistrates um they they have to know um um that there is a god above them they have to know that god's word is authoritative on everything it speaks to and it speaks to everything facts they have to know that this world is made in such in a, such a way um, that they they can't fight it. Like if 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 Darwin is right, then justice really is whatever you feel like right now. Um, sure. Justice justice mm -hmm. is like you you can uh, you know sort of wield. Uh, you, you can try to exert force and pressure through mm -hmm. people or money or science or injections or whatever, and um, and try to and sort of force a certain kind of utopian future. Mm -hmm. But if God is God and He made the world a certain way, then you got to follow the rules. That's right. Otherwise, yeah. you can't get blessing mm. um and so justice um politics is the the art of 
of of ruling well, of of wielding um, uh, power uh, well, political power well, punishing evildoers, rewarding the righteous. But that, those are all categories. You have to know um, what are those categories. What is male and female? Mm. What is what is human life? When does it begin? How is it to be guarded yeah. and protected? Um, yeah. All of that is resident. Uh, again, and, and you know, and fu- and the fact that we have the fall in Genesis three. I mean, that's part of um, r- ruling in a fallen world, recognizing uh, you know where sin comes from, the difference between sins and crimes, um, the jurisdictions that God has given to family, church, and civil magistrates. Um, the 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 seed form of all of that is found in Genesis one through three. But I don't know if that's getting at what you're talking. No, that's about exactly that's that, that's beautiful. Amen. Yeah. That was okay. it. Reach out. Okay, I'm just making sure. Um, and, all oh, right. By the way, there's a roundtable yeah. there too. We're going to talk about Christian nationalism with uh, Stephen Wolf, yeah. um, Joel Webin, Joel Webin, yeah, and Pastor Doug Wilson. Yep. Um, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be good. good. <laughs> that's going to be a really good conversation. <laughs> yeah. and, but, by that's our way, live show. That's our live that's, show. This Saturday the live show. And by the way, you know, one of the things we've trying to do is like. Make sure that this conversation, we want to invite everybody to this conversation because this is a good yeah. one. The reason I know people are really frustrated as well as I am about the conversation on Twitter around Christian nationalism. But if you listen to what Pastor Toby just said, what he just said is an inescapable reality when it comes to politics. Everybody's doing it with their theology, whether they think they are or not. Right. They're right. either doing it well or they're doing it poorly. Right? right. And that's why the conversation is feverish pitch, because we're saying, yo, if you get in you will not honor God in how you do your politics, which will be bad for the rest of us. Right. And you will allow idols to rule over us, which if you know your Bible, we will be right. under judgment again. And so that's why this yeah. conversation really is important. So we can't just like, as much as I'm annoyed with the conversation, we can't run from it. Yeah. Well, we need to lean yeah, we, into it. I mean, the, our current, our current um, theology, our current uh, understanding of creation and the authority of God's word is mm. what is currently in power. Facts. Like, like, like what we have in power yeah. right yeah. now is the fruit, the direct fruit of how the church has discipled That's right. Christians. And, yeah. and I mean, in our country, I mean, yeah. the, 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 I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the vast yeah. majority of people who hold office in this land um, have had time in church. Yeah. And and they are and, and many of them mm-hmm. um, will say they believe in God. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Many of them will say they're Christian. Yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. Truly. But we are getting over and over again the fruit of what we have actually discipled them in, Mm. which for most evangelicals, unfortunately, is God doesn't really have anything to say. It's Mm. all these these are little um, these these are little emotional hits that we set to, to music on Sunday morning, and it'll give you a little spiritual orgasm. And Mm. then then and we're not sure what else. And then everyone else is being discipled effectively by whatever is in the air i mean that's i mean i just saw this morning like there's a covenant college is this pca sponsored college and they've got a new professor who gave the opening talk and she's got her pronouns in her bio yeah like they're they're, fail like like that's that's one of that's the flagship college of the pca you know it's broken there yeah and their genesis yeah i know right and the pca for for decades presbyterian church in america has accepted exceptions of their pastors where they say it doesn't matter yep. if they believe in six day creation or not. Yep. And I um, had a PCA yeah. pastor in Oregon who took that exception. Yeah, right. And it's, and it's, yep. it's like, I'm not saying that the same person who takes that exception then goes on to mutilate children. But what right. I will, but what I will say is that that exception over time in the air, in the water does. Are you saying yeah, that absolutely. Christians can cross transgenderism too? Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> not just Baptists, huh? Okay, I, all right. I, Breaking I, news. I'm not Breaking joining news. our club anymore. Uh, uh, you know what? Send your hate mail to Knox. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's bring this thing home, guys. Let's bring this thing home. Right, I know you guys home. got stuff to do. Uh, so one last thing: talk about the vendors just for a few minutes, and then we'll wrap up. Like, who's going to be there? I know you guys have. Uh, I mean, like I said, cr- crazy amount of Christian owned entrepreneurs, small businesses, yeah. podcasts. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, you guys have one of the best vendor sections of any conference I've been to. Wow. And I would say wow. the most the, the most unique and diverse, meaning mm-hmm. I'm not going to get 19 uh, book vendors, which there's a lot of books there. Believe me. I, mm-hmm. And I love it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I got social media stuff. We got coffee makers. We got guys who do yeah. construction stuff, guys, you know, yeah. marketing, all this different yeah. stuff. Um, tell the listeners they're coming down there. They're going to go buy their tickets right after they're done listening to this. What can they expect in the vendor section? I'm going to get there, but I want to say <laughs> one thing before I get there. 
Yeah, sure. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why we chose the Ark Encounter was actually for the Ark experience. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, Ken Ham has actually done a fantastic job, and he's given us, and he's going to give a talk at the conference. And he's yes. giving a talk at the conference Love Friday it. morning, and they do a great job presenting the historical, scientific, and gospel experience of what the Ark teaches us in scriptures. Right. We're actually yeah. all of us. We've never had our kids come to the conference. We're all pulling our kids yeah. out of school, yeah. at bringing Logos, our whole families, bringing the whole family to come to the Ark Encounter because of the historical, scientific, and gospel experience. And that's what the Ark is. I mean, think about the historical implications of the Ark. Right. Think about yeah. the scientific implications of a worldwide flood. Yeah. And think yeah. about what God was teaching Noah in the damnation and salvation and deliverance of what, what He did through the Ark. Right. And it's a it's about yeah. a three hour experience just to walk through the Ark alone. Or longer, um, uh, or longer, and everything, and so our, it's, it's I can't massive, wait for my kids to experience. It's this. a museum inside of yeah. a life size yeah. ark, and then yeah, that, not, not even to mention the sign, the the creation museum, which is about forty minutes away. But we leave time in the schedule Thursday morning to, to go, go to, creation to the museum. creation museum. Yeah. It's yeah. it's just a great experience, I, I spiritual just, experience for the kids. I just want to add to that really quickly. Sorry, Greg, we don't answer your questions. We just we just, no. we, we just do whatever we'll we there. want. We'll get there. We'll get there. No, we you do what you want. Yeah, but I just want to say, too, I think one of the big things that I'm we are also after is that the Christian church has fundamentally been embarrassed of Genesis. Oh, come on, That's man. right. We are, we are, we are mm-hmm. cowards. Mm-hmm. We're cowards mm-hmm. in the world, and we're cowards because we have let the, the, the world, secular biologists yep. and physicists, um, mock us and right. say, you really believe in a worldwide flood with a big boat yep. and a bunch of yep. animals and a giraffe sticking his head out the window. Yep. And yeah. the Christian church has got to learn to say, yes, yes, absolutely. Amen. I do. Amen. And there were probably, there were, there were, and there were two giraffes, you idiot. But we, but we have to get over that. We have to get over the mockery. We have to get yeah. over it. And we have to recognize that God's word is true. Mm-hmm. If, if he yeah. created the world in six days, he created the world in six days. There was a worldwide flood. There was a big boat. It carried the war, a new world into existence. It saved yeah. uh, Noah and his family, it saved these animals, um, absolutely did. And there, and then trust him for the 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 the, the geology, yep. the, the biology, yep. the science, yeah. the physics, yeah. all yeah. of it, the history, uh, and yep. trust that he he wants us to work through that mm. so that we understand the way he actually made the world, history, science, um, and the gospel. Do you have two talks this year or it, just one talk? It goes yeah. all, it all, He's got a manifesto. It goes, it goes, together, it goes yeah. together. But we've got, yeah. and, we, and if we're going to grow a backbone again, it's going to yeah. begin with people standing on the word of God and saying, yes, I do believe this. And um, yeah. any other questions? Yeah. Well, Sorry, the, and very quickly, if I can kick in there, I would just say, mm. just just do a little bit of study. Understand what the word kinds mean. Understand in biology when we're talking about kinds of animals, macroevolution, yeah. these type of things. The 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 Western the average Western Christian is absolutely ignorant on these things, and this is what right. I hope uh, Ham is going to talk about. And when I go through that museum for the first time, these kind of things I see because I see his videos and things. He's explaining these things. We let the secularists and the atheists create that's the right. story, like you said, the little felt Noah with the giraffe out there in Sunday school, and that's as far as most Christians go. They mm-hmm. don't understand uh, entry level biology, entry level astrology, entry level mm-hmm. uh, earth sciences, and it's like if you look at that and then. And look at the Bible because our our six day creation, literal six day creation, actually has more scientific, archaeological, biological evidence for it than yeah, anything right. an evolutionist yeah. can give yeah, me. Right. Now I'm not an evidentialist; yeah. I'm a presuppositionalist. Yeah. But if you want evidence, it's on our side, Amen. and we need to get fired up about that. Where like to go, Greg? Where's his Where's his organ? Give, give Greg an organ. God, Greg. Oh, also, Doctor Gordon Wilson from Riding the Dance is yeah. also going to be there. Yeah, he's a, let's he's go. A, he's a biologist. Yeah. He's going to be bringing it. So, anyways, um, and yeah. about those yeah. vendors, about those vendors, yeah, about those vendors. Let's finish, up, real quick. finish up with those vendors. Let's go. So we're very um, uh, strategic and very intentional yeah. on, on the yeah. vendors we, we yeah. want at yeah. our conference because we really want everybody doing business with one another. We're cross politics dealt with cancel culture these last three years and and over <laughs> YouTube, to Vimeo, all these other places, Facebook. Yeah, love uh, you guys. And, and we ha- so we have to build an alternative economy. I mean. That's just basically what's going on. This doesn't mean that non-Christians can't work with us. By the end of this, we will be the economy. Right. Christians yeah. will be non-Christians will be working with us by the end because they don't want to put up with anti or cancel culture or so forth. So our our vendors include you know Nexus. Our vendors include Greg. Greg's going to be actually doing a bunch of podcasting from his booth at the conference. Yeah. Our, our vendors include. Um, 
uh, uh, page 50 marketing, yep. uh, red balloon. Uh, we have about 50 vendors, uh, rowdy Christian merch will be there yeah, selling, nice. uh, some great merch. I actually don't have any on right now. Um, <laughs> uh, new St. Andrews called gray fires. Yeah. We actually got yeah. our, uh, the seminary, what we call it's a, it's a ministerial training program, but that both me and Toby went to, um, uh, our gray fires program will be there also vending. And so, um, uh, Roman roads will be there. They're selling Gordon Wilson's book on the essentials of six day creation. Yeah. Um, which yeah, is going to yeah. be a, a Dar- necessary Darwin's sandcastle. Yep. Darwin's sandcastle. Um, and so, yeah, we got about 50 vendors there and they're really good people. Awesome. And we'd love for people actually t- save up a little extra money and, and send it their way because uh, there's a good economy developing, I think in these next 20 years. That That's a really good point. Economy. It's not, you're not going to go there and it's not 50 t-shirt vendors. It's guys like, Oh, I own cloud. I own cloud space. And uh, you, yeah. you want to get off Amazon and, and put your content here. You're never going to get canceled. Oh, I transact mm-hmm. digital money. You don't want to use yep. PayPal. So they're giving the drag yep. queens here. Mm-hmm. Come. It's a Christian. So like, there's so yep. many things there in that economy. That's why I just yep. wanted to mention that because if anyone's listening, that is a, a business a decision maker at your business, own a business, mm-hmm. uh, influential mm-hmm. sphere of influence, whatever it is. If you get down to this conference, you're going to have a plethora of different vendors that yeah. you go, okay, how do I build something for the kingdom with these yeah. guys? Because that's who I want to partner with. And so, Greg, you know, right. and one that's other right. thing too, the business makers conference, you're going to yeah. have guys who get hand to that. out billions of dollars. That's right. Yeah. At yeah. The, uh, you know, speaking at this conference, speaking at the conference, yes. who have hired hundreds of families, you know, right. and you're going to have guys yeah. who are connected with, yeah. you know, that's other right. free market businesses like Red Balloon. Right. You know, yeah. I, I don't know of any other thing that's like this all together. And this is and we've tried to do that on purpose because our other brothers are doing a great job working about preaching the gospel, working on churches and getting other doctrinal things taken care of. Praise God mm-hmm. for that, because we need yep. all of it. What we're trying to do is say, where are these people at who are going to do going to be working inside of kind of the the, the secular realm? Right. And how yep. what are our real the life needs? Square. And oh, thank you. I think there's yep. a better yeah. word for it. Yeah. The public square. And what, how can we give these services to people who are going to be there? So That's if right. you have a business, write it off. Come and, and go to this. Yeah. Bring your family and write a whole yeah. thing out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for coming on. Uh, TJ, Thank- Chocolate Docs, uh, Gabe. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your, of your day. I know you're busy. And we will see you. Uh, I will see you uh, next month uh, yeah, at the Creation Museum at the conference. Yeah. Hey, thank you for awesome. having us, brother. Appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Guys, thanks so much for listening to another episode of Dead Men Walking Podcast. If you have interest in coming to this conference or uh, or connecting with these guys on social media, I'm going to link all that up. So all you got to do is just click the link wherever you're listening to this or watching this from, and you can get right access to them and to the tickets for Fight Left Feast. Guys, we appreciate you. We appreciate the support of the show. As always, remember, the chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. God bless. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Dead Men Walking Podcast for full video podcast episodes and clips, or email us at deadmenwalkingpodcast at gmail.com. None you